Hi everyone, we're going to start a new theme here on ActionScript. We're going to start talking about arrays and how we can start using arrays to group objects together and then programmatically access them uh, using array notation. Now, arrays are just groups of things. So I might have a, a bunch of strings. I might have a bunch of numbers. I could also have a bunch of movie clips. An array is a collection where I can take all these objects and actually group them together as one single named group. So you can think of a think of you know think of a array as just as just that a group. Now, with an array, there are certain action script properties that we have to learn about how to actually access the different items in the group, and then also how to actually build the group. So what we're going to do today is just introduce some of the very basics about how to create one of these arrays or groups, and then how to actually access an individual item inside of them. So let's go into the action script, and I'll show you what we have here. So I've got a couple lines here that are commented out. So let's actually remove these comments, and I'll show you exactly how these work. So the first line is where we actually are building our array, or our array group. These arrays are just like any other object that we create in ActionScript, where we use the var statement to create this named object. In this case, we're using the var statement to create an object called myArray. We need to type the object, which is why we have myArray, and then we have the colon, and then we add the word array at the end of it. This is just like when we had to create an instance of an object in, in the library, or we created a number, or any other type of, of object. We then need to actually build this object. Using these square brackets, the square brackets denote the beginning and the end of the sequence of what we're going to be creating for this array group. So we're going to set the value of the array to the objects that are inside of these square brackets. So we open with a, op we open with a square bracket, and then each item inside the group we then separate with a comma. In this case, the array myArray contains four strings. In this case, they're names of members of my family. So we have uh, Doug, Mike, Janet, and Sarah. Each one of these are separated by a comma. And you notice that they are strings because I'm using quotation marks to, to denote them as strings. So now, with that statement, we've got an object called myArray. It contains four strings, or four, uh, four names. Now the thing is, how do we actually access them? Using the same bracket notation, we'll then need to access a specific numeric number, which, is which actually links to which one of the items we want to use. Each item in the array, or each item in the group, has an ID number associated with it. This is also sometimes referred to as its element number. They're all sequential, so the first one, though, is always zero. So the first item here, in this case, Doug, is element or ID 0. Mike is element 1, Janet is element 2, and then Sarah is element 3. So let's actually run what we have here, where we're accessing my array, and then we have the square brackets after that, and then inside we have the number 0. This is accessing the 0 element, in this case the first element, or Doug, and it's going to take that and output it to the trace statement. So let's actually run this and I'll show you what happens. So if you look down here at the output panel, it outputs the, my name, Doug. Let's see what would happen if we wanted to access Janet. So if we look at the items that we have here, we know that Doug is 0, Mike is 1, so therefore Janet should be 2. So let's go into my array and let's modify this to 2. Let's run this again. And as you see, now we actually have Janet. Using these element numbers, you can access any, any element inside of, of an array. Based on this, we're going to expand this and learn how to modify an array, and then how to use array within loops to dynamically access objects on the stage.